Okay, what we have here is, if I can move this over a little, I have the old parts on this side over here, and then I have the new parts over here. So, we'll have to look at them. Okay, now I have my diagram here on my laptop. Um, I suppose you could use a uh, tablet if you wanted. Um, here's this new spark plug. Uh, this spark plug has a gap of about 24 thousandths. This one is the one that came out of this machine here, 070 clone, and this one has a gap of about 30 thousandths. So I'm going to go with a new plug. Uh, 5 thousandths isn't going to make a whole lot of difference. Um, this is um, the parts laid out in order as to how they go. Uh, this is one of the parts that came supposedly new and uh, it has a casting that's incomplete. So I'm not going to be using that. I won't need it. So we'll go through here. Uh, this goes first. This covers the bearing. It's called a cover washer um, according to my diagram. Now this is also called a parts list. Uh, some of this is in German. Uh, I believe some of it's in French and also it is in, in, in English also. This is the needle bearing. This is the old one over here. In this row all these parts over here are old parts. This one doesn't look so good but this is the new one that came with some of the parts that I ordered. So that goes on next. The next thing is um, they are, there are two clutch assemblies things. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. But uh, this one here is another alternative. But this is the one that came originally with the saw. And according to the parts list, there are two of them. One is for a half inch chain and the other one is for... 404 thousandths chain. Uh, this is the one that came with the original saw, so I'm going to use it. It doesn't seem to be damaged, so I'm going to use it. So put that on. Um, that's called the chain sprocket. Next is the washer. This washer it can go two ways. You can go this way or you can flip it over. I believe it goes this way and this side goes up. There's a lip on this side here um, that you can see and the lip goes down on the, in this assembly. Then here's the clutch. I'm going to call this the clutch assembly. Uh, this, the one that originally came with it, doesn't look like it's too damaged. It has, it has sort of a brake pad material on the outside of it. I don't prefer it like that. Um, and in my other video of where I took this clutch apart, the words go up in this case. This new one, a cheap example, yes, but th there are no words, but this taper, this large part of the taper goes up. The small part of the taper 
goes down in this case. So put that on. This is the part this is the part that wore out. It's all burnt up. It um, almost welded itself to the crankshaft. This is called the adapter sleeve. That goes next. And it's very hard to get on, so I may have to do some work on that. Okay, I lightly tapped this adapter sleeve down uh, with this punch and a hammer. So we'll see how that works. You got to be careful you don't damage the threads on this operation. I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that this nut will drive it down. Now another thing is that the nut that came with this uh, assembly, this new assembly, has a um, step in it. And right there, I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. This is the old washer. Uh, they call it a ring. And this ring uh, thing here, I'm not sure if it goes this way or this way. But we'll just put it on. And then, this is the new one. Uh, this is called the washer. And this goes right here. As you can see, there's not too many threads sticking up here. And this is a, this special nut here. It's left hand threads. So, instead of turning it uh, clockwise, you're going to turn it counterclockwise. Alright, and then tighten it down. Well, as you can see, uh, this adapter sleeve is sticking way up and I tried pounding it down it's not going to work. Uh, I got two options either put this back on here like this put the nut back on uh, this by the way is left hand threads and this is the one that came with it so I could put it like that 